What's good? What's poppin? My name is Grace and you're watching Gracefully Natural. Okay, so today I have some interesting people on this video. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Sanan. Hi, I'm Caitlin. And these are my friends it's that I shoulders. made. <laughs> <laughs> these are my friends that I made here at University of New Haven. Um, um, there's a fourth member of the group, but she's in her room. Her name is Ari. You're forgetting about. No, but she's oh, and there's a fifth member to our group. <laughs> her name is Hannah, but she's a commuter, whoa, so. Whoa, you skipped the whole part. We actually met at SOAR Orientation. She said University of New Haven. I mean, we did meet here, that's... but like, excuse me, SOAR Orientation. <laughs> <laughs> we came here like what? What was it? June, June 17th, June 18th? 17, yeah, June. Yeah. What do you mean, Ju July? No, it was June. So, yeah, we met at SOAR Orientation. Um, how did we meet? Well, we were in the same... I was sitting next to Ari, and That's Ari true. was sitting next to Hanan, and they were talking, and then Ari asked me what group, like, the you know how we had the blue and the gold? And then we realized, I hear you. Hmm. I, and then we realized that we're in the same group. And then that's when we, me and Ari started talking. But I wasn't talking to you yet until after, during SOAR. And then that's when you guys started talking when you guys were in the same group. And me and Hannah was talking when we were, me and Ari and her was in the same group. That's how we met. I put down everything. We okay. met in the group. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that what we said? No! We met, listen, we met in the group because me and Hannah were in the same group. Yes, like, that's oh how God. you guys started talking. Can you stop pointing at <laughs> us? Like, that's not, no. I was like, oh, another black girl. Let me talk to her. That's how we met. And then Hannah came to me because we were going to the theater, I think. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, this is Grace. I was like, hi. Who is this talking to my best friend? But hi. And then, <laughs> and I think Ari was in the group too, right? Yes. I saw that. Yeah, so. And then Hannah went to Ari and then I think you introduced us. Yeah. Yeah. So first and So it wasn't you, really. It was Hannah who did the I didn't meeting. say that it was me. I said Hannah. <laughs> so what was the row? I said we were sitting in the same row when they were splitting us in groups. We? I don't remember you from that. I just said I was sitting next to Ari and Ari was sitting next to Hanan. I said that. Oh, so just the three of y'all then? It yes. wasn't me and Hannah. And I said that I met Hannah in the group. I said that. Uh -huh. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. But Hanan doesn't remember. Of Hanan. course, Hanan was remembering because we weren't. I wasn't talking to Hanan. Hanan was on her phone, like she always is, and. and uh, you see where this video is taking place, right? In hours. Ah! Okay, so that's how we met. So now we're gonna talk about our first impressions. So Hanan, would you like no, to start? start so. Okay, Kaylin, would you like to start? Okay, first impression of Hanan. I was like, oh, she looked quiet. And she has a black girl, and I like her. I love her hair, actually. Her curls are just... Wait, your hair was straight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She said, she said, I love your this curls. Is after, after the fact, after the fact, <laughs> when, I first, when I first met her, I was like, oh my gosh, she has nice hair, and she looks nice, so. That none did not look nice. And okay. then we started talking, and she was like, oh, I'm an only child, I'm a lefty. I was like... Mm -hmm. so and then that's when we started talking about our majors and then I was like oh I want to like concentrate in bio and she's like oh I love bio and we got into that so it was it was good vibes when we first met wait first impression for everybody yes okay. <laughs> so my first impression of you was just like she quiet yeah that was pretty much <laughs> Grace wasn't talking a lot cause like she you like you'll be talking to her she was like <laughs> I'm just like damn bitch can you talk like <laughs> I don't know like like I don't know and then for Ari, I don't remember my first impression of Ari. Uh, honestly, all my first impressions, uh, who should I start with? I'm going to start with Ari. Oh. No, like how I met each person. Oh, in order. Okay. Yeah, in order. Um, with Ari, I was like, she's very nice and like social. Because she just started talking to me. I didn't talk to her first. And I was she like, shows how you're shy. I guess, shows how I'm shy. 
um so yeah i was like she's very really nice or whatever and um hannah i forgot how we started talking you know when they did those icebreakers in the group mm -hmm. yeah we were just like just laughing of how everything was going down and then we just started talking from there and then she was like she's a business major and then boom we just started talking about our majors and stuff uh this one hannah introduced me to her and um I'm not gonna lie, the vibes were a little ugh when I first met you. <laughs> well, you heard what I said. Oh, I know. Like, wait, why did you feel that way? Because she, that was her best friend, and you know, like <laughs> that's how I am with my best friends too. Like if they're introducing me to their friends, I'm like, uh, at first, so I was but just like, I, knowing me, I probably wasn't really like. No, like you what just. I, said. Like, I know. Like, you know you're standing there like. You're just like. And I was I like, was, oh. <laughs> and I was like, okay, hi. That's kind of hard to believe because it's me, but I believe him. And but then we started talking, and then you know we became cool or whatever. Ugh. That's exactly that's exactly what she did to me when we were eating for sore. Really? That leads me into my first impression. Who I didn't. I didn't do yours. Yet. I didn't do you yet. Oh yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> my first impression of you, I was like, I don't know. I think you're just always on your phone. So we didn't really. Who was I supposed to be talking? Us. <laughs> I didn't know y'all. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. You was always on your phone, so it's like kind of hard to like say like much. But then we turn out we have a lot of things in common. Maybe too much things in common. We'll get to that, you know. So yeah, now it's your turn. All right. So when I first met Caitlin, well, we were in that orientation leader group. You already know. We both were kind of like. Like, damn, we don't feel like being here. Because everything pretty much is, like, mandatory when you're a freshman. So it's like, we had to do that. We had to do this. We had to do that. Plus, it was like, we were never on campus yet. So technically, we had to be babied around. Mm -hmm. But we were in a group. And, of so course, like, like she said, it wasn't nobody of, like... Our skin. Yeah, so <laughs> when me and her saw each other, we was like, we might as well talk. Because, you know, <laughs> we the same. We were of the same descent. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so it was bit, pretty much like that. Then we started talking more, got to know each other. And then from there on, I think we kind of even established being roommates that day. We did. Because we was like, oh, we should be roommates. But, like, you know, we was, you know, was, we was just talking. Oh, my God. Oh, we kept doing the, the, um, roommate, the roommate yeah, quiz. Yeah. We, like, we, we all was like, doing the roommate, roommate quiz on that same day so we could see if we could request each other. And it's funny because normally I'm a type, like, I wait. I mean, yeah. I'm still examining, like, you know. Even though I know y'all still be examining. I mean, you gotta be. It's nowadays. You can't just be crazy. so open. Yeah. Yeah, um, like, that's how we pretty much met. Grace, I really don't... I remember us being in that auditorium when they kept giving those speeches. But I don't remember which one because we, you know, had so many. <laughs> so, yeah. We but, mainly started talking, though, because of the um, quiz. I was asking you questions. Oh, you remember uh, when I was I kept okay. asking questions about the quiz and Hanan was no, helping. Like, That's when we about? really started talking. I helped. Yeah, you remember did. That. But yeah, I'm surprised. She was very quiet, I will say. But it's like we're just meeting each other. I don't expect anybody to be talking. So, but like, <laughs> she was cool. So <laughs> we went took it from there. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> the next thing we're going to be talking about is the food here on campus. Wait, which um, hall are we talking about first? I feel like we should just talk we about should, the food. No, I feel food like we different. should start at FOD, then go to Bartels, then go to WOW. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to save the WOW for later. Let me tell you. Yeah! <laughs> All right, FOD. All right, I'll start this time. So FOD, we pretty much eat there breakfast and dinner. The reason why we don't eat at lunch is because we have limited swipes there and breakfast and lunch. I mean, in breakfast and dinner, we don't. So the food is pretty good. It's better than most colleges. Like a lot of my friends, they complain about their school, but I don't complain. I mean, besides it feeling repetitive, I think it's pretty good. Like sometimes it's seasoned. I mean, but they sprinkle a little salt. Like the chefs are cool. So like they know the deal, especially like, you know, you know, mm -hmm. so like if you need a little flavor, just let them know and they put it on for you. Yeah, he'd be asking us, is there like salt, pepper? Like, yeah, he'd be like, <laughs> he'd be asking. Know, he, he was like, y'all know if y'all need a little flavor, just, just let come me up know. to me and let them know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like, they know. As long as you have a tasty meal, like they're pretty happy too. So like you could tell that they generally like working. Care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Bartels. 
Wait, she has to do. I want to talk about. All right, so I'll oh, do Bartels. Okay. Bartels. Everybody knows I hate going there. One, because FOD is convenient. You just walk downstairs. Yeah, it's in their dorm hall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to go outside. Nope. You just Fair walk down. downstairs. Or take the elevator. So with Bartels, I would say that, like, I don't know. Their food doesn't have as much flavor. Like, for example, their eggs. Oh, I hate the eggs. I wouldn't eat breakfast. No either. salt. No salt at all. And it's like, it's not even scrambled, bro. It's just fluff. Yuck. Ew, eat breakfast at I would say they have more of a variety, so each time you go, there's something different. But the quality, mm -mm, I'd rather go to FOD. Yeah, but Bartels, they have like a, a little Chipotle kind of Mexican station. Yeah, but their rice tastes weird. Like, I feel like you're eating dish detergent. Like, <laughs> I don't really like wow. Their rice here isn't that great, but I mean, I'm not a rice person, so. And they have an ice cream machine. FOD has no ice cream machine. They don't have no. They have ice cream. Well, I'll blow up if I eat ice cream. So, oh, that's a little. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I. Oh. Um. She. Oh. So Kayla wants to talk about <laughs> FOD. So, my experience at FOD. Mm, I like the food, but it's like repetitive. So I get tired of it. Like if you like, have a bacon cheeseburger one day. You probably gonna have it the next day. And I don't day after that. I only eat like Alfredo pasta. See, I don't even eat cheeseburger. Blow up. I don't even eat that. Fries, cheesy quesadilla. Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> um, at breakfast, we always look for the omelets. Y'all look for the omelets. Oh yeah, me and Grace. <laughs> <laughs> we be <laughs> we be going in for them omelets. It's the, always the same thing. America wow. No, 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 I didn't talk about Bartels. What you else is there me? talked about? Oh, okay, go ahead. So I like Bartels a little more than FOD because FOD has the same stuff, like, practically every day. And there's variety at Bartels. Oh, you rather Bartels. eat nasty food with a variety? I don't eat at Bartels at all. Good season though. food. I've eat. just started eating at Bartels with Grace. So they have, like, variety. They be having, like, Asian food and pizza and pasta and stuff like that. That pizza don't be it. It's like buffet stuff. Mm-mm. It's, it's like buffet, buffet style, style. exactly. Yes. So y'all know that Golden Corral, how it went down? Yeah, that's how the buffet is. I'm not even gonna I don't eat that often, so it tastes pretty good <laughs> <She's> now. <out. laughs> so. Okay, so the last place on campus that we eat is probably like our favorite place. Mm, that's money, no. But. but not for the money, but that's like for the food. food. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's get into that. It, it's fries. called Wow. It's a, a girl and wingery place. Mm. <laughs> What does what the wild stand for? You know that too? No. World of Wings. Oh, World of Wings. I think, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, we go there. Know. I feel like we go there when <laughs> FOD is closed or when we just feel for it, to be honest. Yeah, because sometimes you really get... Like, I didn't believe in getting tired of college food until I got here. And it's we've only been here for like two and a half weeks. And no, we've been here for three. Oh, wow, 0.5. So yeah, we pretty much go there, cause like our cafeteria is closed at eight. So early. By the time we actually finish doing what we have to do, even half the time we don't be finished. We don't be finished with our mm -hmm. homework, and so you gotta stop. But we you gotta, gotta eat. Stop. You gotta basically here. You gotta plan your day around eating. Yes. Which is too much. I'm tired of planning my day around. You eating. be trying to be productive, be like, damn, I ain't eat yet. So I'm honestly, they be texting me like, oh, we're going to eat, but we're bringing it up. So they could finish their homework, and I'm like, damn, I don't you can know. Do that too, but you don't want to. Oh, uh, okay, we're not gonna get into this. Um, so yeah, Wow is our favorite. <laughs> wow is our favorite place. It's just Wow. Like, describe the food. Describe it. Describe it. Okay, and so then. um, next we're gonna be talking about the classes. Hmm. <laughs> ah. Class. Oh yeah. Hmm. So, so should we majors. talk about like our first day of class? Well, we talk about your majors. Oh, all right, all right. We'll talk about our majors. Okay. So, my major is business management. I don't have a minor right now. I don't know if I'm doing that, but I'm doing the three plus one, which is a fast track program here. So I'm gonna get my bachelor's in three years and my master's in one. So that means I have extra classes than a normal student here would for the first semester. So I'm taking 18 credits every semester and then I'm talking about for business whatever so please don't kick it off it's okay. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> 
So I'm taking 18 credits every semester and then plus I have to take um, summer classes because I do not come in here with college credits. So I would say so far it hasn't been so hectic where I can't handle all the classes I have, but I feel like as I fully get into the year of the semester, I will be, I don't know, I need to learn, like work to work on my time management here and learn how to like deal with all the homework that I have because sometimes one class will give me much more homework than the other and it's like I will stick to that and I forget that I have other homework to do so it's just like I have to learn how to like organize everything and yeah. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm a forensic science major. What was the question again? Just explain like how you were dealing with all your classes. Oh, uh, well, I'm taking 18 credits, so it's, it's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not something that I can't get through. So like I, there, there are times where I have a lot of work and I'm still going to sleep without completing all of it. But as long as I get the basic stuff done, like that night, I guess I'm okay. Nobody really cares about how you feel anyway, so I'm not about to sit up here and be fair. like, oh, yeah, I have a lot of work. Yeah, don't feel bad because nobody really cares. It's college. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my major is biology with a concentration in pre-medical. Is it pre-med field? Pre-med. Pre Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not like them. I only have 17 credits because that's the, that's the highest. I, um, bio majors can go up to, I guess. Mm -hmm. So... I have two labs, 140 to 420. Oh, Monday, that's a Wednesday. killer. You're trying to commit suicide. Let that's the way to go. Those, <laughs> days, you, those days, you really can't dress too. Like, I like to dress cute. Why so, are you always talking about your clothes? Talk about your class. Not, I can't really dress class, nice. Not your All right. This is the problem. I'll just talk about the class. So, labs are just long. They kind of drag. And boring. But, and I also take, like, a health professions class. I like it. I like the professor. I have 8 a.m. biology. It's interesting enough, so I don't mind it being 8 a.m. Honestly, oh yeah, <laughs> that too. 8 a.m. classes are not that bad. No. So I don't know, like, people, before I came into college, they were like, oh, don't take 8 a.m. classes because you'll hate them. But honestly, it's not that bad. I like to get my classes over with earlier than, than later. So don't listen to people when they say that don't take 8 a.m. classes. Just take it, get it over with. Um, so yeah, anything else about classes? Well, since they have 8 a.m.s and I don't, I generally would rather have an 8 a.m. because my classes end later than theirs. So like some days I get out 4.20 and then 5.45 on Mon Mondays and Wednesdays. So it's annoying. That's why I would rather start at 8 versus like 9.25 or 10. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like it because they don't like waking up early. I, my body's still used to getting up early from high school. Mm -hmm. So I really don't have a problem if I had to. I mean, you're going to be tired, but I mean. Mm. Your class isn't done. Exactly. So yeah. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna be talking about the clubs that we plan or we are joining and the parties here at UNH. So I think we should talk about the clubs first. Yes. Yeah. Clubs. So we're gonna talk about the clubs first. Okay. So so far we all together are joining BSU and NAACP. Caribbean? Yeah. Okay, Caribbean. That's already $30, by the way. <laughs> In dues. Yeah, $30 a year. Hmm. Um, but we get, you guys get shirts, so. You guys. Shirts, so so that's, what, that's the thing that we're all doing together. So are there any other clubs that you guys are doing by yourselves? Um, well, it was supposed to be biology club. Biology club. Um, well, I'll think about that, honestly. Yeah. For the spring semester, I think I want to get into the um, hip-hop dance team. Oh yeah, we were talking about that too. I missed the fall trial because I wanted to give myself time to adjust to college life, so we'll see. And Hello. my friend Ari and I are planning on auditioning for the step team this Sunday, called Elite Step Team, so pray that we get in. Um, I think that's it. We can't really tell you we can't really tell you guys a lot about the co the clubs because we just you know started joining and, and school work is kind of more yes. important than clubs sometimes right? we so. started already mm -hmm. missing some meetings because we've been so busy with school work just in I mean, one week i missed three yeah. school work meetings oh there's another club there the african one that the because, african community of because we went to yeah. painting doesn't mean that well i, I mean i'm still that. thinking about joining that club uh, I, I like doing 
I like to join they all the They meet on the same clubs. like night though, don't they? No. Most of the time they do. It's no, they're each different days. Yeah, but another problem with that is that most of them start at like eight thirty. Yeah, they start late. But so which like, gets like which gives us time to do our work. But it's like you still gotta pause and be like, damn, I gotta go here. Yeah, because well, go we definitely don't be finished by that time. Go and then you gotta go eat. Let me tell y'all that eating schedule, man. Sometimes I don't even want to eat. To be honest, sure, um, I do. <laughs> no, because we have to go down there get the food. We gotta wait. The Save wait time. is. Y'all don't got time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so now we're gonna be talking about the parties at UNH. School parties. School parties. We have not been to nothing else but school parties. Yeah, the first one was uh, fun. Yeah, the first one was, it was during. It was fun. better than what we expected because you yeah. know when you when you come to schools like <laughs> this, you mm. don't really expect the music to be good. They was playing a lot of R and B throwbacks and like they yeah, had a great they were. DJ. That's all I'm gonna say. What was his yeah. name? DJ Prestige. I don't remember. Yeah, you know that too. Think, I'm good with names. The, only thing is the name party is was food. like right in front. We have a, I have a quad in front of my dorm. Yeah, it's a really so nice it, it spot. Was, yeah, it was right there. It was during Welcome Week, so you know they had like events throughout the whole week. Oh, yeah, and it was glow in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Not yeah. That it probably matters, but that's what the. It was. It, was it made it. I feel like it made it more because we had like the little. Yeah, those little, little stick things. things. The little glow thing. Mom kept shutting off. I was getting so mad. <laughs> <laughs> but it was actually. Fun because one that was I think that was the first time that we've seen a lot of um our people. Mm-hmm. We for sure. For Honestly, sure. because they don't come. They, out they do not come out. They they do not come out during the day. They be wherever. So it's like we thought there wasn't much, but until that party, I was like, oh wow. I'm so we wanted to talk about the other school party. Another school party. Ooh, it was um, fun. Let me tell y'all. It was cold. Mm, that girl that was <laughs> throwing up at first. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Like, <laughs> she, she was, was like, <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. She had a really good, whoever her friend was, kudos to you. Because she was throwing up everywhere. A like, lot of applause for that. Friend. It was like, they literally got in an Uber. While she was. Yeah. And let me tell you, if I was an Uber driver, if I would have seen it, I'd be like, <laughs> "You're not getting my car." <laughs> yeah, nah, cause like get your money back. <laughs> but she was bad. Like I never up. seen anybody throw up, I've like never, throw up like that. Before. I've never seen that. Yeah, she that was on the real ground. Life. She was like, on the floor. Uh, it was just was like, yeah, it was people, bad. Um, but the party was actually fun. It was more of like a Caribbean style party. Mm-hmm. So it was a lot of reggae, a lot of reggae, a lot like of dance hall, soca, Afro beats, Afro beats, yeah, Afro beats. <laughs> I'm not. So it was really fun. It was really good. The music selection was... It's just the DJ Up kept talking. Yeah, you know how Caribbean DJs but are. They have to talk that they during... they do that. Because it's like they cut the song to talk, and then they cut the song after they're done and change it. So it's like... I don't know. We had fun. <clears throat> All right. So... But besides that, like, I feel like people here on campus are really nice. They're jumpy. They're really like, hi. Yeah. And then yesterday, me and Chad, we went to, um. And I'm just mm-hmm. not used to that. I'm not used to, like, walking outside and having people smile. Like, coming you. from New York and New Jersey. You don't yeah, really you don't get that. Isn't Everybody, it refreshing? It's refreshing, huh? but. Isn't that refreshing, then? No, yeah, like, I'm not that. used to that. That's why, like, when people do that, I'd be like, this is a setup. Because, like, nobody <laughs> really that nice to you in Jersey or whatever. They, like, you be, and you look at each other. The most you do is. In New York, you're not supposed to stare at nobody. Oh, man, they do a lot house. of staring they here. They be like, I don't be looking at nobody when I'm going to class. If you're, um, please, oh yeah, please go to SOAR. I feel like if we, mm. we did not go to SOAR, honestly, we would not you wouldn't, we wouldn't be, be talking. Right now. This so I feel like if you want to make yeah, friends. Yeah, we definitely don't have classes together. No. Yeah, I don't. mean, me and I have like the same classes, just different times. So we sometimes and we work together. You guys obviously. are now roommates because you guys met at SOAR. So I feel like if you want to meet your roommates or you want to meet, stop making that face. <laughs> if you want to have long term, sounds so like <laughs> encouraging and formative. <laughs> if you want to have long term friends, I feel like. Please, oh no, nah, she's not long term because she's leaving next year. So. <laughs> she's commuting. Yeah. I'm. I live. But like she's five still going away, to be. So. In, in, I'm gonna be here like all day, anyways. Cause like, it don't matter. Hannah's here all day. Do we see her? No. Well, no. I'm not. I don't have classes on Orange Campus though. I'm gonna be oh, here. Yeah, that's true. That's her. That's her. End of the story. Moral of the story. We're just saying. Just, just still go to store 
and check. go to the first one too, because then you get to schedule your classes. That's another. Yes, yeah, you get to. Oh you get yeah, to there's a lot of advantage from going. <laughs> there's a lot of advantages from going to school. Like first, you get to you get to pick your classes. I got to move my classes all up to above. 420 or 255. I so. went to soar and didn't even do that. So just don't do what I didn't do. Yeah, change your classes to whatever time you want them to be. Because at soar, they give you your schedule and they give you the options. So. Ooh, especially if you're a science major, you have labs. Sorry, we all have them. Yeah, you need to schedule good because them labs are three hours. You have two labs a week, so you're basically spending six hours per week. Anything else you guys want to talk about no. from your experience here at UNH so far? No, just have fun. I'm always tired, but yeah, that's I guess that's that's what comes with. And I will say the Biology. week before your classes start, make sure you have fun because once well, it depends on how you take your work. If you no, don't care about it, I feel like the um the week that we came here, they had a bunch of events for us. We all went to those, and uh, um, what's the we thing? tried to go to as much as we wanted. Welcome week, welcome week had events for us, so just yeah. like. Go to those events because after that week, you don't we, really were just, we were just we were just like stuck to our books. So it's just work, like eat, sleep. Literally, work, I never eat, had my sleep, face work, in a eat, book sleep. as much as we I don't do go anywhere. Yeah, really but gotta, oh, classes. here's a piece of advice: really read. Like when the teachers tell you get a book and to read it, and it's on the syllabus, read it because you'll be in class not knowing what's going on. Midterms um, are on the textbooks. Final exams are on the textbooks. So, and the textbooks are expensive. So. Yeah, we're not even gonna get into that. So we'll we'll save that for another, another video. Textbooks alone is. I, we're gonna close this video out without Caitlyn. Um. Oh, if you guys wanna subscribe to my channel, y'all can. I don't even oh! know the name of it. I don't even know the name of it myself. It's like I think it's called Hanan and. Sean. Nah, it's H. Dot, no, H S Productions. Oh, I'll put oh. it in the description. So yeah, I'll have you guys. Go support her and her boyfriend's channel. And y'all see me a lot on here because literally me and Grace are always kind of together. And we have to explain our styles. And oh, yeah. We're going to have to do a video and to show you guys how much we are alike. It's low-key scary. So uh, stay tuned for that. And Caitlin, anything you want to say? Caitlin is going to create a YouTube channel in the future. Yes, so stay year, tuned. I really want wow, to. sophomore year. Next year. <laughs> Stay tuned for that, I guess. So I guess next year I'll put it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> so subscribe to her. I'll put their Instagrams. You want me to? You guys okay with Casey that? Dot Hanan, H A N A N. She'll put it down at the bottom. Yeah. And K I T I E underscore 1301. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, go follow them. Subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Put your notifications on. Comment. And do all that. Share this video with your friends. And <laughs> Ding, fix your neck. Yeah. And if you plan on coming to UNH and you will see us next year. Yeah, we got so. you. Talk to us. Talk to us nice. Like we nice, people. okay? Peace.